Hi, I'm Vicki Zhang. And the lights are really bright. And I'm Jack Schlafly, and you're watching WCAT's Weekly News. Well, hello, Bertie. Hello to you. What exactly are we talking about, you ask? Well, it's the musical Bye Bye Birdie, live on Kellidge stage. It's fantastic. And why should you go? Let's hear from Conrad Birdie himself. Hey everybody, I'm Conrad Birdie, and this is the best musical you'll see because it's got uh, lots of jokes, lots of songs, lots of dance moves, lots of screaming girls, and I mean, it's got me. So, hope to see you guys there tonight and tomorrow. The show starts at 7 p.m. tonight and Saturday. I can't wait to go. One of our StageCat alums has moved from Kellett to big time television. Grad Erica Marie Sanchez stars as the girl next door in CBS's The Inspectors. It's been really fun for me to play a character that I'm so similar to, you know. We both, I'd like to think, are very hardworking and we're both very passionate about what we do. We both won't quit something until we are sure that it's done and it's perfect. You know, you see her taking her journalism so seriously and her, her classes so seriously and, and be excited about things and, and bring a little bit of energy into the mix sometimes. One of my favorite scenes that we shot in season two was probably date night with Preston and Veronica. There's an episode where Preston helps Veronica kind of give another male friend the idea that she's not quite interested, so he pretends to be her boyfriend and while Veronica sorts everything out in the end, Preston decides to put together a really sweet date night. What's new with the Jamestown U crew? Join the gang this weekend on The Inspectors. Only on CBS Dream Team. It's epic. I'll be running at the Wendy's Invitational Saturday, but I'll make sure to set my DVR for the show. I heard you did a lot of running this <laughs> summer, Jack. How was running through history? It was a great trip through Europe's most beautiful and historical sites. Leading the trip, per usual, was lovable history teacher and varsity boys cross country coach, Mr. Tribble. Let's hear from a couple participants from last summer. My favorite and most memorable moment of RTH was uh, on the, uh, in the last town in Zermatt, we were climbing the Matterhorn. And uh, though we didn't get to the Hornley Hoot, we did get pretty far and it was pretty awesome. I thought it was really cool. It's gonna stick with me forever. It's really fun just to hang out with your classmates and you get so much time just to, like, go around with them and you're not like, you're not like sort of chaperoned as much so you're just like, you know, uh, you're just being responsible with each other and that's pretty fun. Coach Drew was the man because he leads this awesome summer trip every, every, every year. I can personally attest to how great the trip is. Learning about places and then being there in person is a phenomenal experience. Well Vicki, as you know, it's homecoming week. That's right, and you need to vote now. The King Queen surveys are only open from 9.40 to 10 a.m. this Friday. Keep watching, but open up your computer to vote. No votes will be counted after this time. Don't forget to bring in change for Penny Wars. The money you raise benefits Habitat for Humanity. Put Penny Wars in your grades bucket to get points. And add anything besides a penny to another grades bin, and it will subtract one point for every cent. So if I put $5 in the junior bin, they just magically lose 500 points? Yeah, and what? tell them what they'll win, Jack. <laughs> well, not only do you get bragging rights, but your grade gets donuts as well. It's one of the most exciting weeks of the school year, and be ready to dress up with your respective grades theme. From pennies to trophies. Lots of trophies. Our debate team is one of the most successful squads we have on campus. The debate team has won five national championships in 2005, and just the last year, they had two pairs ranked in the top five nationally, the only team to do so. But what's debate? Is it Clinton and Trump on stage? Not according to Mrs. Sternberg, the Westminster's debate coach. The first thing that I'll say is that I categorically refuse to call what the presidents, what the presidential candidates are doing on TV a debate, because those are not a debate. Those are, in my opinion, just candidates giving their opinions about things. Um, what we do in debate, uh, it's called policy debate, and there's a national topic each year and everyone in the country who debates in policy debate goes by that same topic. Mm -hmm. This year the topic is whether the United States should increase its economic and or diplomatic engagement with China. What an interesting topic. It sounds like another promising year for the debate team. If you're interested in trying out or just supporting the team, make sure to contact Mrs. Sternberg or any of the team members. Well, that's all we have for this week. I'm Vicki Zhang. And the lights are still bright, and I'm still Jack Schlafly. Thanks for tuning in, and go Cats.